If you're someone like me, you're always on the lookout for some great new apps. However, there are thousands of apps published on the Play Store every day. So how do you filter the good apps from the not so good ones? Well, that is where we come in. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'm going to show you 10 of the coolest new Android apps that you are going to love. Before we get started, make sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our future videos. Also this video has been sponsored by AppMatch, which is a brand new app recommendation service that suggests you apps based on your interests. It's pretty fun, you can just go to appmatch.com, select a quiz based on your interest, answer some fun questions and that's it. App Match will bring you apps that will surely impress you. Also, if you are a developer, you can submit your apps to App Match so others can discover your app with ease. You can find the links to App Match in the description below. Now, let's talk about apps, shall we? The Holo app is an augmented reality app that lets you have fun with holograms of real people and animals. The app was previously limited to Google Tango smartphones and it has finally arrived for all Android devices. And it's also much, much better. Basically, the app lets you capture photos and shoot videos of you or anything else with holograms of different characters and animals. For instance, there's the friendly neighborhood Spidey in his usual poses. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of characters in the app. But being a Marvel fan, I love the different holograms of Spider-Man. Here are some photos and videos I took from the app. The Holo app is definitely a lot of fun. As the name suggests, the Control Center iOS 11 app brings the iOS 11 Control Center to your Android device. Now most Android apps that claim to bring iOS features on Android are either bloatware or adware. But Control Center iOS 11 is a very very good app. Yes, that's surprising. The app brings an identical Control Center to Android and you can choose to access it from the bottom, right edge or left edge. You get various toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth along with shortcuts to camera, torch, calculator, etc. You can also set the screen brightness and volume of your device. Some toggles support 3D touch-like gestures just like the iPhones. The app is free so I'm not sure what you're waiting for. App shortcuts were introduced in Android 7.1 and they're pretty handy. However, Google hasn't added a way to set custom shortcuts. Well, Sysme shortcuts lets you do exactly that. While Sesame Shortcuts isn't really a new app, its recent update brings integration with the latest Nova Launcher Beta and lets you create custom app shortcuts. For instance, I can add a shortcut to a particular website in Chrome. I can also add shortcuts to the contacts I talk to most in WhatsApp. It's pretty handy and makes app shortcuts way more useful. That's not all. Sesame Shortcut also brings Smart Search to Nova Launcher's App Search, which lets you search for apps, contacts, songs, or even message someone on WhatsApp directly. The app is available as a free 14-day trial, after which you'll have to shell $3. While our phones may be fast, sometimes we get limited by the Android interface. For instance, launching an app that you don't use regularly or calling a contact can take a while and that's where the fast key launcher comes in. The launcher brings an always-on keyboard on the home screen, which you can use to launch apps and call contacts. The important thing here is, it's very very fast. You type a letter and the most used app and the most called contact comes up, followed by other apps and contacts. While FastKey Launcher does not bring fancy customization options, it is the launcher to get if you like to do things fast. And yes, it's free. We have had various face swap apps of late. But this one's from Microsoft and it's a lot of fun. First of all, you need to take a good selfie. Make sure to smile because I've tried it with a serious face and it just looks out of place in certain happy situations. Then the app will create a face mask of you which you can use in various scenes. For instance, here's me with different hairstyles. Now I don't look good as a girl. Here's me as Superman. Now this is one look I can definitely pull off. Ah yes, I'm having a lot of fun with this app. There are expressions you can put your face on and even search for images to put your face on. Try this free Microsoft Face Swap app if you are in mood for some fun.
The touch bar on the new MacBook Pros might seem gimmicky, but it's actually pretty handy. At least the control strip is. And well, the touch bar app available via XDA lets Android users try the touch bar functionality on Android. You can just install the app, activate the touch bar, and that's it. You can trigger it from the bottom and get various toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and set screen brightness, volume, etc. You can also set custom app shortcuts that you can use from the touch bar strip at the bottom. It also features a very handy Google search button that lets you search on the go. The interface looks exactly like the one on the Mac's touch bar, and it's also very, very handy. Definitely an app I'd recommend you to try. Firefox Focus is a fairly new browser, and it's already quite popular. I've been trying the Firefox Focus browser since a few days now, and I really like it. While Mozilla markets its privacy features, I like it for the speed it offers. The browser loads pages swiftly even when I'm on a patchy network area. That's because the browser blocks various content, analytic, and social trackers in websites, which makes sure that the websites require less data and load faster. There are other privacy features too, like stealth mode, which blocks users from taking screenshots and hides web pages from the recent interface. Also, you get an option to quickly erase all the browsing data from the notification shade. While it lacks tab support and other advanced features, you can try out the Firefox Focus browser if you want speed and privacy. Most of us have various Bluetooth accessories like a Bluetooth speaker, a Bluetooth headset, etc. However, there hasn't been a simple unified place to see the battery levels of all your Bluetooth devices until the Baton app's arrival. The Baton app is as simple as it gets, and it's got nothing to do with Batman. You connect your phone to your various Bluetooth devices, and the app just syncs the battery data from these devices and shows it to you. So now I can easily see the battery levels of my Mi Bluetooth speaker and my Sony Bluetooth headset. While it's definitely handy, it does not work with most smartwatches and it did not work with my Logitech X50 speaker. So yes, it might not work with every Bluetooth device out there. Having said that, it's free so you should definitely give it a shot. I'm pretty sure you've tried different photo editors, but I'm pretty sure you've not tried a photo editor as fun as Teleport Photo Editor. In the app, you can either take a photo or choose one from gallery. Then you can see how different hair color looks on you. There's blonde, blue, green, which gives me a joke rescue look. There are a lot of other colors so that you don't color your hair and regret it later. That's not all. The app lets you blur background and you can even set custom backgrounds quickly. You can choose backgrounds from the app or from your photos itself. I tried it out and here's me in the arms of mother nature. Now here's me around the Eiffel Tower. Here's me on a beach. Yes, I'm having fun. There are a ton of options to choose from, so you'll definitely like it. If you use YouTube to watch informative videos from the likes of TED Talks or Khan Academy, you must have noticed that at times, the long videos can get a bit boring. Well, Skippy, as the name suggests, brings you informative videos that are fast cut to reduce all the redundancies. Basically, it brings you parts of a video that are actually useful. So when you watch a video on Skippy, you see a number of cuts there, and you can easily jump to the next cut and see videos more effectively. There are various sections categorized in social studies, tech and science, art and culture, and inspiration, with topics curated from TED, Crash Course, Khan Academy, Vox, etc. Well, Skippy is free, so if you're someone who loves watching informational, inspirational videos on YouTube, you should definitely try it out. Also, another great app that qualifies as a cool new Android app is our very own Bebom app. We launched the app recently and it brings you instant tech news on tech that matters. Also, the latest update brings swipe gestures to easily read all the articles. So you should install the Bebom app if you haven't already. Well, those were 10 cool new Android apps that you should definitely install on your Android device. You'll find the links to all of them in the description below. So try them out and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.